Hello there, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so first things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. Of course, you don't have to, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so big topic. Don't let the targets you set yourself in life knock you down. Now, anybody who knows me will know that that's pretty rich coming from me because I do that to myself all the time. But I am consciously trying to start to step onto a journey where I really try to stop that, try to work at it, try to resolve it and stop it from happening. Because, of course, it can be so detrimental to so many things in life. What am I talking about? OK, so for quite a long time now, I have been, like a lot of other people, really difficult on myself, I think, throughout your 20s especially. But of course, this can happen at any time in your life. If you are setting targets, goals, whatever you want to call them, measurable sort of points which you never quite reach, or unfortunately because of just life happening, you never actually get there, it, of course, it affects our mood. It knocks us back. And for me, I find it really demoralizing, really quite upsetting, and it puts me in a real bad frame of mind. Something to think about, of course, is whenever we set ourselves a goal, for example, if you're in, I don't know, a position where you're in a job at the moment, you're not too happy at the job you're in, and then you aim for that role of what you ideally want in life, but you know there's some hard work of getting there, perhaps there's some difficult sort of meetings, maybe even an exam or two. So you've got hard work to get there. Keep setting yourself difficult and, and goals which you can't necessarily measure is only inevitably going to affect you in a negative way. For example, if you're setting yourself goals which you can't never ever reach, you're always going to feel pretty rubbish. You always are going to feel rubbish. And believe you me, that happens to me. Going back to the job scenario. OK, so I'm in a situation at the moment where the job I thought was going to be the most job of my dreams hasn't turned out that it is. So I've set myself a goal of where I want to be. But however, be careful with that, because at the end of the day, that end point isn't necessarily the most important thing. In fact, most times in life, it's not the most important thing. And what you can do is if you're trying to constantly reach these goals, which you're never quite reaching, or for example, life just happens, or you're not quite getting there, or even you're concentrating so much on that end goal, you're missing out on the things which are happening in between. So number one, you're missing out on the things for example, with your loved ones, you're missing out on things with those you care around you. You're in a negative, uh, a negative mindset all the time. And of course, if you're not going to hit those goals, which are really, really tough on yourself, it's in that vicious cycle of always making you feel that way. For me, a huge wake up call to me was very, very recently. I have lost my grandmother, who is my absolute world. Now, how she went out of this world was absolutely devastating and very, very tragic. And I find that really very difficult to deal with. Not just that, but because I don't have her anymore. But I try and tell myself that I still do here, always. Now, how I see my grandmother go out of this world, I told myself that life is far too precious to spend time on setting these, in a way, silly goals, which I'm never, ever quite reaching. And I'm being really, really hard on myself. Because ultimately, what you're doing is you're setting yourself up. It sounds awful, isn't it? But you're setting yourself up to fail each time. I think what I really want to get across with this is that it's OK if that should happen and that you shouldn't beat yourself up about that. I had a really, really bad day earlier. In fact, I've had a very, very down day with a whole host of things. My life predominantly for many, many years was based around this very, very important person in my life, my nan. I have an incredible family. I have an amazing mum, an amazing dad. And my nan was just everything to me. And for so long, it was everything was just nan. Take that away from me, then you've, let's just speak, pulled the rug from underneath me and I'm just existing. Although it feels, my amazing mum today has took the time talking and really, really, and really getting me back to that sort of sense where I can actually turn around and look at the world and sort of think, do you know what? Just stop. Breathe. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there. It really doesn't. 
And I'm absolutely blessed for my amazing mum. She truly, truly is an incredible, incredible special lady, and I love her very, very much. Um, sometimes I think, is it a bit of a burden what I do? But my mum, being the incredible person she is, will take all the time in the world to talk me through issues and problems. So amazing. My heart absolutely melts. My mum is really, really a special, special lady. But going back to these goals. Now, I very often set myself these goals, which we we spoke about, which you can you can get in that sort of position, in that horrible sort of circuit that you don't never, ever quite get there. Wipe that out of your head. Because what is successful for somebody at the age of, let's say, a high school student, 15, 16, what they may achieve, somebody else at 35, 45 may achieve. Somebody may have not have chosen to have taken the route of education. So something which is successful for somebody at 20 may not be successful for somebody else until they're much, much later on in their life. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to complete that journey. That's what I'm trying to hold on to. There is no targets to set yourself in life. We do them to ourselves through choice. And if you're anything like me, I'm very often hard on myself about it as well. So that's what I want to leave you with today. Wipe those targets away. And in fact, somebody once told me um, in a in a role which I very, very much enjoyed, um, one of my line managers told me never to set yourself goals too far ahead into the future. So here's a recommendation for you. Instead of setting those almost immeasurable targets for yourself, which affect your mindset, affect your mood, you end up missing out on things around you, you may end up missing out on time with loved ones, family, friends, then you get to the end goal and then you think, ah, oh, I didn't quite enjoy the time of getting here. So set yourself a time frame, no more than about a three month plan, and be very, very casual and relaxed about it. It does not mean you're going to take over the world in three months. I mean, okay, perhaps break that long journey down, and perhaps think, OK, so in this three month mark, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a small snippet towards that end journey. But I'm going to make sure that I do the things I enjoy and I spend time with those who I love because I'm going to enjoy the journey as well as the end destination. It sounds a lot. It is a lot. And believe you me, it's really, really difficult and it's not easy. And it's something I'm working on and I'm sort of embarking on right now. And it's only through the amazing time and life experience of my mum and the incredible lady she is why I'm thinking this way. So credit to her, not me. But if you can start to think yourself into that sort of routine, then no more will you have that horrible mindset which is causing you stress and making you feel really quite low in mood. Because let's be honest, it does. Whenever we have these things in life which we want to go for, we want to really strive for, and if we're really hard on ourselves, we're never really truly enjoying what we set out we wanted to be, which is to improve, which is to succeed and enjoy better things in life. Think about that. I hope that makes sense. So as we started this clip, don't let the targets you set yourself in this life trip you up or knock you down. Because after all, when the real big things happen in life, it means nothing. Those, those little targets mean very little. When you think about family and the big events in life and and those who we have around us and the life experience and all those wonderful things which go with that as well. Think about that. OK, thanks very much indeed. And until next time, I will be seeing you real soon. Thanks very much. Bye bye now.